What's up, YouTube? It's Drew with Top City Gear here, and uh, it's uh, currently November 1st, 2020. I was just trying to recover from last night's Halloween candy sugar rush slash hangover, and I uh, thought I'd do a little video uh, showcasing some new uh, new design of uh, Remora holster that's out. Um, I think they've been out for maybe about a year or so. Um, and it's actually a, a generation two material that they've started making them out of. But uh, let me flip the camera around here and uh, we'll take a look. All right, I've got a side-by-side -side comparison here of the uh, new Gen 2 holster, which is this one here. And this one here is my original Gen 1 that I've had for, oh man, probably eight, nine years at this point. Um, I get a close up here. You can kind of see the main difference is, is basically the material they're made out made out of. Uh, now it looks like the the trim um, is the same on both of them, but the main the main body is the different material. Let's see how good a side by side comparison we can get here. I don't know if you can tell by the way the light is reflecting off them. This one is. Um, I would call it a little bit more smooth and um, almost like a, a little bit of a glossier finish. And it's it's a little bit, I don't know if you'd maybe say harder, because this one definitely feels softer and it definitely doesn't reflect the light as much. So I'd, you know, I'd probably call it more of a matte finish. Um, they seem to have pretty similar gripping characteristics. I do think that the new one sticks a little bit better to fabric than um, this one, and I'll show you a little bit what I mean by that. Um, but uh, the, the texture and the feel of it is definitely softer. And then not only is it softer on the outside, it's also softer on the inside. The older style has uh, sort of a nylon fabric type finish on the inside. Whereas this new one's got almost a softer velvet-like material in there. So it just uh, it just feels, you know, a little bit softer all the way around. Um, I think they would probably equally perform as well. But um, let me show you what I'm talking about regarding the stickiness of the new versus the old. As far as comparing the stickiness of each one, this is the old, this is the new. Um, it's kind of interesting that you can see, obviously I've got, I'm showing this to you on my uh, bed sheet. Um, so it's just kind of a normal fabric. Um, but you can see, I can press down on this and I, and I, and I can pull it along. This one, seems to resist pulling more. It's like my finger slips across it before it wants to slip across the fabric. And so I think that actually might be better because um, I mean, if you've got this, this is designed to be tucked inside your waistband. So uh, unless you're just uh, <laughs> free balling it under your pants or something, it's pretty much gonna have fabric up against both sides of it. So if it does indeed stick better against fabric, it should stay in place even better than the original, which already stayed in place great. But it is kind of interesting. It's like I can pull this one along and put the same pressure on this one and it doesn't want to come as easily. So um, I think probably I do like the Gen 2s a little bit better, um, not only for the stickiness, but also just I like the softer feel. I think... Um, it feels a little better, be a little bit better on the skin. Um, you know, it, it, when it does touch your skin, I also like the uh, softness inside. I never had any issues with the old one um, causing wear on the gun, but I mean, technically, I would think that if uh, one was going to cause wear on your gun, this one would be least likely to do it. But uh, let's just see, uh, take a look and see what they look uh, look like uh, when I'm wearing them. All right, so here's a look at it uh, while I'm wearing it. Uh, it tucks pretty nicely into the waistband there. 
be a little bit better if I had lost a few pounds, but uh, hey, what are you going to do on that? Uh, you can see it's sticking pretty darn good to the, uh, to the fabric there. It's holding place uh, pretty good. Um, for me, this is reasonably comfortable. If I'm standing, I don't think I can sit like this very long, but, and uh, when you pull the gun out, of course the holster stays uh, in the pants, just like it's supposed to. All right, here's a look uh, with me wearing it again. I've got it tucked back in. Maybe not quite the same way or as good as it was before, but um, you can see it uh, it hides pretty nicely, especially in the winter weather. This is kind of a thicker gun to be having up front there, but um, it works pretty pretty decent. Uh, you know, nice and easy access, and uh, I really like I really like the way these things feel. Hopefully that, yeah. It's not my flies open. <laughs> All right, well, there's a look at the new Gen 2 Remora holster. Uh, I just want to give a thanks to Remora for sending me out the, the holster. They tell me that uh, some of my previous videos uh, showing their products uh, has uh, drummed up some business for them, so they were kind enough to send me uh, this newer design to see if I wouldn't mind doing a video on it as well. And I was uh, certainly happy to oblige that. Um, so if you wanna maybe purchase one of these, uh, you can go to, I think it's remoraholsterstore.com and uh, order one or more. I'll uh, have a link in the description there. You can check it out. They've pretty much got a holster for pretty much any pistol that you would want to, or um, handgun that you would want to conceal carry, so. Um, there's just kind of a look here. This one happens to fit all of these other, uh, styles. So, uh, but yeah, definitely check them out. Made in the USA. Great product. Pretty affordable. I think the original design is, uh, currently $24.95 and the new Gen 2s are $26.95. So, uh, definitely a very good value for the money. Um, anybody that's owned a lot of holsters knows that those dollars can add up quick. So <laughs> saving some money on that uh, for such a versatile product is actually a pretty good deal. So anyway, I'm Drew with Top City Gear and uh, thanks for watching.